How to use ClickUp for task management. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ClickUp for task management, collaboration, and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to ClickUp.com and you will land on this platform right here. ClickUp is a project management software that allows you to collaborate with your team, create projects, manage your team, and much more. In order to get started with ClickUp, you can uh, just go to the sign up option right here. The signing up process is really easy. All you need to do is just enter your email address and get ClickUp. You can also get it for free and there is no credit card required. After the initial sign up or sign in to your ClickUp, this is where you will get. On ClickUp, we have a workspace and within a workspace, we have different boards and each board has our tasks and we can go ahead and manage our tasks. We can create different boards for sales, CRM, marketing, designing and more. So let's get started. As a complete beginner, you will require a workspace. So if I click on spaces right here, you can see I have a lot of different workspaces and we also get a default workspace within ClickUp. Once you create a workspace or you select a workspace, in that workspace, you have a lot of different boards. So to create a new space, you're going to click right here. Give your space a name. Let's call it Test Task Managing. Okay, so this looks good. Test Task Management. Now I can create a workspace from the scratch or I can use a template. With a template, I will be able to uh, get a template for task management. We have CRM content calendar, and we have others. So with working with a template becomes really easy and it gives you a lot of different options already. So let's go with this template right here, which is task management. Click on use template. Now we can actually uh, add a folder name as well for this template. And then we will also select the space where you want to add it. So I'm going to go with this one. And now we have import options, import everything or customize import items. When you click on customize, now I will be able to actually customize different things that we have. Now click on use template. So this is our simplest template that we got on ClickUp. So this is my board now, which is going to be the task management. And so first of all, you can see on ClickUp, we have different views available. We have a list view, we have a board view, workload, calendar, Gantt, timeline, a mind map and table view as well. To add a new view, you're going to click on add view and you'll be able to select from other views as well. We have mind map, workload, activity and more. Then we have the automate option right here and then we have share. Uh, click on share and you'll be able to invite people to your board right here and you can just enter their email address and an invitation will be sent to them. Similarly, we have subtasks here. We have assignees, show, and we have these three dots that allow me to also protect my view or private my view and others. So at the bottom right here, we have task that will allow me to create a new task onto my board. And then we have this menu right here that gives me record clip, track time, new document, and more options. When it comes to creating a new task, we first have to create different list. So with task management, we have a to-do list in progress, review, revision, then we have complete and more. So now it depends on you that if you do not have uh, these lists, then you can create any other list if you want. So to do is okay, in progress is okay as well. And then we have review and revision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these three dots. So if you want to collapse any of these columns, you can do from here and we will also get other options. So in order to create a task within a list, we have three ways. We get this create task option right here. Then at the bottom right here, we have add task. And then at the end of any list, you will get the add task option. So with the template, we got different tasks created. Let's create a new task. Let's say there is a task in progress. I'm going to click on new task and give it the name task one. Okay, so now I can open it up. This is how you create a task on ClickUp. So first of all, you give it a name. Then we have to assign it to someone. So I have added an assignee. We can also assign it to two people uh, or multiple people at one time. Then we have priority. So let's actually set it to high priority. Then we have share if you want to share this task. Click on these three dots and you will get add to option, convert to, duplicate, send email to the task, merge, move, print, dependencies, template center, archive, delete and more. 
click on template center and you will be able to actually browse the templates for a task as well. And then we have save as template or upload existing. Here I will be able to add a description to a task. Let's say this is my task right here. I'm going to click on done. And with a slash, we can actually go with a different commands as well. We can create table within our description. We have checklist, we have buttons and more. So I'm going to go with a checklist. So I have created this checklist within my task. We also have edit tags. And here I will be able to add different tags to a task too. So I'm going to go with a test and new. Perfect. And similarly, we have a time tracking option and we also can add a due date. So let's add a due date to this task right here and it will be added. We can also create recurring tasks with ClickUp. Uh, so this is a task that I created. Now I'm going to close it and you will be able to see this is how we create a task. Now, uh, this way you can create multiple tasks and once a task is in progress, let's say this task is in progress, so we can simply drag and drop a task from one list to another like this. So this is how your board will look like. You can see we have different tasks in to-do list. We have in progress, review, revision, and complete as well. Uh, so if you want to attach a file as well, you can do that. And you can also select multiple tasks to, to perform bulk actions. You will also be able to see the number of tasks you have in a list, which is pretty impressive. You can see to-do has three, in progress has five, review has three, and then we have like four completed. So yeah, this is how you will customize your ClickUp board right here. You can also access the menu anytime. Here we have home, notifications, we have polls, goals, show less and more. Uh, then we also have uh, this workspace here. Click on invite users and you will again uh, be able to invite. If you want to switch between the views, you can actually switch to a list view. And this is what it will look like. Uh, similarly, we have a workload and we also have a calendar view available like this. If you want to create an automation, click right here and then you will be able to create automations really easily. This is how you can actually use ClickUp for task management, which is very easy. And ClickUp has all of the different features and tools you need to collaborate with your team, manage your tasks and get more productive. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So yeah, also leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question.